So this is the second Monday in the month of October. Uh, October is, as you all know by now, the Stem Cell Awareness Month. Uh, this week, in fact, uh, the second Wednesday of October uh, is celebrated or commemorated as the World Stem Cell Awareness Day. Uh, so we started off last Monday by understanding what are stem cells and what is broadly their potential, what are the sources from where stem cells can be procured. Interestingly, um, this month also celebrates a World Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day. So October 6th was celebrated as the World Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day and stem cell now has a major role in treating cerebral palsy. So let us first understand what is cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a condition where when the child is being born, before birth, during or after birth, there could be an injury to the brain which leads to physical as well as cognitive impairment. Now the causes of cerebral palsy are many. When, there is, when the child is in the mother's womb and the mother's nutrition is affected or there is infection or blood supply to the brain of the child is affected, when the child is being born, the child does not cry and that means the oxygen supply to the brain is affected during the small time that the child remains non-breathing. Um, that again leads to damage to the brain and after the child is born, if there is any lack of glucose or any event leading to seizures, may again lead to a damage to the brain. All these are uh, common more in developing countries like India and it is statistically uh, been known that three to four children out of every thousand births uh, have uh, shown cerebral palsy. So the prevalence of cerebral, cerebral palsy is very high in developing countries due to lack of awareness as well as delay in treatment. The severity of the problem keeps on increasing and there is an estimate that around 25 lakh children in India are suffering from cerebral palsy. As the child grows, a parents notice that the child is not achieving the usual milestones, unable to hold neck, sit, stand or walk and thereby dependent on the parents lifelong. In addition, there can be problems like lack of vision and lack of hearing, all due to damage to the brain. Till now, the only treatment available was neuro rehabilitation, exercises, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, uh, uh, um, medications to reduce the tightness or spasticity, um, surgery from outside to um, uh, uh, to reduce or to correct the deformities because the child's hands and legs may become crooked, spine may get twisted. So all these treatments so far helps from outside to some extent improve the quality of life of a child. But the main cause or the main problem is inside the brain that there is a brain damage. And uh, at Neurogen we have studied this in depth and we have looked at how the brain damage occurs and what are the different kinds of brain damage and using a very sensitive tool known as PET CT scan of the brain we have found that the damage in the brain which lo looks like a blue color on the PET scan can be corrected using stem cells from the patient's own body. The blue becoming green that is the functioning of the brain can improve from inside using stem cells whereby from outside when exercise or therapy is done, the child starts achieving its milestone. So using a very simple and effective tool of using the patient's own bone marrow, which is known as autologous bone marrow derived stem cells, the brain damage can be repaired simple way in a simple way and an effective way without any side effects and that's the beauty and potential of autologous stem cells uh, we have seen many many children improving in their function the road which was blocked now it is opened up with stem cell improving the brain function from inside and rehabilitation helping from outside child is able to achieve neck holding sitting standing and walking Oh, in a shorter time span than would otherwise be possible. Apart from cerebral palsy, 
we also see very good use of stem cells in intellectual disability or mental retardation the reason that i'm mentioning this here is because right here in mumbai maybe as a part of cbus community itself you will find a individual a very um, uh, promising uh, young girl who has been helped with stem cell to achieve her maximum potential by improving the brain function you must check out her website or facebook page her name is pratibha and her pratibha got enhanced or came out with the stem cell uh, treatment that we did on her and she is now able to play sitar and cook food for herself as well as she is part of a community or or a, a part of a cafe known as cafe arpan so stem cell therapy has potential to help many many children with brain damage who may have physical problems or may have only cognitive issues so cerebral palsy mental retardation autism uh, and myriad other dis uh, disabilities um, so when you look around uh, and you find children who have not been able to achieve their maximum potential remember that there is hope so have a great monday have a Uh, Monday filled with lot of hope and positivity. Spread positivity, uh, positivity around. Um, create awareness about stem cells within you and others, and have sensitivity and empathy towards those who are less able than you. Have a great Monday.